So in this video, we'll learn about Arnold Physical Sky. We have this fairly complex scene setup, which you can check it out on your own. If you go to the Arnold for Cinema 4D menu, which is docked here, we have this Arnold Sky object, which in itself contains two types of skies, a normal sky, which can be used to produce image-based lighting and a mathematical physical sky. First, let's add an Arnold Sky to the scene and run the IPR. Hey folks, welcome to Mogra Plus. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to Arnold 6 for Cinema 4D. It's a massive 12 hours course in which we explore all the aspects of Arnold for Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Under the main tab, the first option is type, which lets you choose between sky and a physical sky. We normally use the sky option for image based lighting with HDRIs, but physical sky is a simulation of the sun and sky environment of the earth. Now, as you can see, we have a physical sky illuminating our scene. Before going through the parameters, let's set the elevation to 15 and azimuth to 310 degrees and exposure to around 3. Here we have turbidity, which defines the amount of particles and aerosols in the sky. As you increase this value, you are making the sky more hazy and polluted and lower values will result in a clearer sky. Let's try one to get a nice blue sky. Then we have ground albedo. To see this option a bit better, let me just get out of the camera to see more of the physical sky shader. So ground albedo controls how much light will be reflected from the planet surface back to the atmosphere. You can define a dark or a bright color. And as you choose brighter colors, you make more light rays to reflect back from the planet surface to the atmosphere. Let's go for the default color and get back to our camera. Now the next parameter is elevation and it controls how elevated or high the sun should be in the sky. So basically using this parameter, you can control the time of the day, sunset, sunrise, noon. So at 90 degrees, the sun is at the zenith and it can be considered noon. If we lower the number to something like uh, three degrees, very low degrees, we are very close to sunrise or sunset. And right now, if we go to something like 175 degrees, close to 180, you are very close to sunset or sunrise again. But this time, the sun is facing our scenery. For now, let's set it to around 10 degrees. Now we have azimuth, which is the angle of the sun around the horizon. And you can rotate the sun in the sky as you wish from 0 to 360 degrees. Or now let's set the azimuth to something like 310 degrees and the elevation to 10. Then we have sky and sun tint, which allow you to tint the sky and the sun color. Let's change the sky tint to this purplish color and the sun tint to this blue color. And now we get this colorful environment. So you can use these two options to generate some extreme sky colors or just to add some subtle coloration if you wish so. Let's change the sun and the sky tint to their default values. Then we have this sun size parameter. By default, it is set to 0.51, which is the physically correct number. And as you increase this value, you are making the sun disk bigger and the shadows produced by the sun softer. Right now we get these nice sharp shadows and this small sun disk, but if I set the sun size to, let's say around five, you see the sun disk is getting much bigger and we have much softer and diffuser shadows. 
And finally, we have enable sun option. If enabled, you get the sun. If disabled, you only have the sky to work with. Now, if you noticed some noise from your physical sky on your soft edges of your shadows, uh, you know the drill. Just increase the samples for your physical sky to three, four, or five and clear those up. So this is a nice render. Let's keep this and create a copy of our Arnold physical sky. I'm gonna turn off the first physical sky and in this one, let's set the sun size to the original 0.51, elevation to 10 and azimuth to 280 degrees. And this gives us a nice render as well. I'm going to create a few Arnold physical skies with different turbidity, elevation, azimuth, color, and sun sizes and take a few nice renders from the scene and you should find that scene and those renders in your project files. So that is about Arnold physical sky. See you in the next one. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, Vray, Redshift, Octane and so on. See you in the next video.